What's up guys, Flip and Steve, uh, coming at you tonight with a soccer video. Yeah guys, I'm going to switch tracks a little bit, go back to some soccer, because we do have the Champions League going on. I know everybody's hyped about the NBA, and the bubble, and the playoffs coming up, and did you guys see Damian Lillard, he blew up tonight? But yeah, some soccer, Champions League, Messi and Ronaldo have been awesome if you haven't seen. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some investments. I started buying soccer cards back in late May, and I'm going to show you some of the investments that I made and some of the profits or potential profits that I could currently have. And I'm going to show you, you know, talk about ways that you can get into the hobby without breaking the bank, but it's starting to get up there, guys. Don't get it on soccer too late if you have interest. As well as my most expensive purchase to date for soccer cards. And this is one card, guys. One card in this big old box shipped to me. I know what this card is because I know what I bought. So let's just go ahead and open this before we even start the video. And don't forget, we do have giveaways and stuff to do, guys. But yeah, big old box. One card in this whole box. Cardboard. Got some bubble wrap. Big old bubble wrap. A bag, a big bubble bag. I mean, this thing is shipped crazy. I mean, how much money did I spend on a soccer card? Again, more, more bubble, cardboard, bubble, one, one small card to unwrap, got more bubble, got more bubble, and here it is guys, check it out. What's up guys, welcome back, Flip and Steve. And tonight we got some soccer content, some stuff that I've bought over the last couple months since I started my soccer card investing journey back at the end of May. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. I absolutely knew nothing about soccer cards. I didn't even know much about the sport or the leagues. Um, but I did a lot of research and I just educated myself because you know, I wanted to be savvy in the market and I wanted to give myself uh, another opportunity and another outlet as far as cards go for investing and flipping. And I ended up falling in love with it. Like I loved soccer. I watch it now regularly. I check the scores every day. It just completely sucked me in. The whole thing that I like, you know, I love learning, especially in the market. And I was just engulfed with it. I really fell into a black hole of soccer for a long time. So I'm gonna show you some of my cards. And I've actually got some good ORIs here if I was to sell right now. Um, it's almost like basketball. It's just tough to miss. And hype is built into the rookie cards. And people love the shiny stuff. I mean, it's pretty cool. But anyway, before we get started, uh, let's talk about the giveaways we got going on. In the, in the last video, if you commented, you were um, qualified or you were entered to win the LeBron Select, which I will be giving away in this video, guys. So we'll be giving away the LeBron Select in this video. And I'll also be asking a question in this video that will qualify you for the LeBron Optic, which will be given away in next video. And then we still have two more videos after that where I'm gonna give away the LeBron Prism, the $100 card going out, and an Anthony Davis checkerboard. Just look at that. That's at least a $100 card also. And even if the LeBron was worth more, this, this card just looks awesome. Who wouldn't want that in their collection? So, yeah, without any further ado, uh, first off, I do actually, I want to thank my subscribers and my supporters. I know I do it all the time, and I say it over and over, and I know you guys are probably tired of hearing it. But I do thank you guys for all the support. I try to do the giveaways to keep everybody excited, and my way of giving back to the hobby and to the community um, and I also hope you guys take something back out of my content, whether it's entertainment or whether you learn something, um, cause you know, your time is valuable and, um, you know, thanks a lot for giving me your time and, and, and watching my videos. So let's go ahead and get into some soccer cards. First thing you'll see is you'll see in the back, you'll see a couple boxes. One of them is, a, um, a Dortmund set that was released uh, on the top to website this year. It's right here. Has Jadon Sancho in it. Everybody knows if you're in the soccer market, you've heard of him. Erling Haaland, another one of the hot rookies that everybody's spending a lot of money on. Probably the equivalent of Zion in basketball. Um, soccer rookies are just like basketball rookies. They draw a lot of hype. They cost a lot of money. 
And they're all not going to be superstars, guys. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast. And uh, another great YouTube content creator for soccer is Brandon Chung. And another one is, um, his name is Card Hour. Um, I think he's from Belgium, uh, over in Europe. Um, I've been watching his videos for a while and also saw him on a live stream with Brandon Chung the other night. And just very knowledgeable in the soccer market with a European perspective on it. Something that you don't see here. Uh, you know, very educated. Um, and just like Brandon Chung was saying in his, his video, you know, there's a whole list of young, talented players in soccer and a very small chance, you know, 15 to 20% chance that, you know, that they're going to be a superstar. So, you know, you could have 20 rookies and, you know, maybe five of those guys are actually going to be legitimate players, just like in any sport. But the prices and the hype drive these guys just like in basketball. So on the right here, I have a box of 1920 Obsidian, which I actually got from Panini Direct, which is crazy. You know, I'm, I have no bot. Usually you can't buy anything off the website, but I've got it for 160 bucks. I could sell it on eBay for, you know, a little over $300. But I'm getting very tempted in opening this box, guys. I'm getting very tempted in opening it. It's only seven cards in there. But it's got autos and mem cards in there. I love the, the look of the obsidian. So what should I do? Should I open that? If I get enough comments and enough likes to tell me to open that on a video, I'll do it. Because I'm half tempted to do it anyway. Maybe it'll rain one day and I'll want to open some packs. So yeah. And also up front, I have three 2016... Uh, prisms euro prisms because it wasn't a world cup this year and prism can only make back then panini could only make the prism cards because they only had license for uh national jerseys so it had to be something special going on euro cup harry kane kevin de bruna raheem sterling three guys in their mid-20s that are some of the best players currently in the premier league and guys that you should look for if you want to get into the soccer market right now, these are three guys that I think you should look for in buying. I spent 20 bucks on the Harry Kane silver. I spent 25 bucks on the Kevin De Bruyne silver, and I spent 20 bucks on the Raheem Sterling Sterling silver. And these are all considered their rookie cards, great players. These guys, I believe, are going to take off if they follow the trends of a lot of these other cards that I have out here. So in no particular order, I'm just going to go through some cards. I am going to try to go from, you know, less expensive to more exciting cards at the end. And also, guys, I don't have any notes. So if I say a wrong number or, or anything like that, <laughs> I am going to have photos up here. So I may say I paid a certain amount for a card, but you'll see what I actually did and what it's actually valued at now. I'm going to start with something uh, super, super cheap because these have been popping up in my mail days recently. And if you've been watching a lot of my mail days, you've seen a lot of the soccer that I've bought. Um... And I tell you that I'm buying this stuff. Sometimes I say, hey, I think it's a good buy. I never really recommend. I just show you what I'm doing and you guys, you know, take it take it how you want to take it. If you want to do what I'm doing, that's fine. And if you don't, that's awesome as well. Everybody has their own, you know, ideas and their own budget and their own mindset. But I was buying Anthony Marshall uh, prisms. Here's four of them. And I got a bunch in a box in there. I went on eBay. I went on ComC. I went on Becca.com. I scooped up as many of these as I could around the $2 mark, a dollar to $2 because Manchester United was doing so awesome. And I just was like, man, this guy is on their front line. And Jadon Sancho, another player that I'm going to talk about later, did not get signed by Manchester United. If you guys didn't see hear the news, they ran out of time. They didn't come to a deal. Um, uh, Dortmund wanted too much and Manchester United just didn't give it up. So it looks like Jadon Sancho will be going back to Bundesliga this year with Dortmund and Anthony Marshall, Mason Greenwood, and Marcus Rashford will be on that front line at Manchester United. And Anthony Marshall is the one that really give them that push to get them into the Champions League. These are now selling for about 10 bucks. So a week to two weeks ago, I was buying these all over the place for a dollar, dollar fifty, two bucks. They're now 10 bucks. So not big money. A big percentage. I mean, that's a, you know, if I spent two bucks on it, that's a five-time gainer right there. So you buy enough of these, you can make yourself some money, buy in cheap. And I still think there's lots of room for that card. Uh, one of the things I want to say is that 
like, you know, Messi, Ronaldo, their cards are going insane. And it's trickled over into Neymar Jr. His cards are blowing up. These guys are veterans. These guys aren't like Mbappe and Sancho and, so, you know, Alonde and some of the rookies that are blowing up. These guys are veterans. And it's going to trickle over into the other superstars, guys. That's just the way that it works. And it hasn't quite done it all the way yet. It's going to trickle over into guys like Harry Kane, Kevin De Bruyne, and Raheem Sterling. So, again, you still have time to get in on the soccer market. Don't look at Messi and Ronaldo and say, I can't afford to get in. Um, next up is a rookie that I was buying up because he was cheaper than the rest. Um, Phil Foden, uh, Manchester City. Great player, great talent. Uh, I bought these for $10.99 each. So basically 11 bucks. Now they're selling for over 30 a pop. So again, a triple up on my money. Uh, Phil Foden was a pretty good choice. And I really went with him because I thought he was super talented and he was cheaper than the other rookies. He was cheaper than guys like Sancho and guys like Mbappe and guys like Jao Felix. And so I went with him and so far it's paid off. Let's go ahead and talk about someone that everybody probably knows. Uh, Christian Pulisic. Um, I bought up a bunch of his... Uh, Prisms from, um, uh, let's see, this year. You had a Premier League, uh, two base and a Hyper. The Hyper, when I bought it, was 40 bucks. Uh, now selling for 90. The um, the base were 20 bucks. Now selling for anywhere between 40 and 50. So yeah, another double up on uh, the Christian Pulisic. And guys, this is not a rookie card. By no means. This is a this year card, Prism base. And it just so happens that it's his first Chelsea uniform. His first card in the Premier League. And uh, the Chelsea fans are, are buying it up. So, and, and the United States fans, because he's from the U.S. Uh, they're just buying them up, even though they're not rookie cards. That's the funny thing about soccer. You never really are quite sure which rookie card is the rookie card, because you have stickers, you have different makers and different years. But I'm going to tell you guys, right now in soccer, just like in other, other sports, Prism is on fire. Anything with Prism on it, people want even more so in soccer. It hasn't trickled over into products like Optic and Select so much. Prism is king in soccer uh, by far, even more so than any other sport, to the point to where first Prisms are just considered rookie cards or more valuable than rookie cards. Um, and anything with any kind of shine, any kind of design, and serial numbers. Serial numbers is more important in soccer than it is in basketball. People love the color and the serial numbers more so in soccer than they do any other sport that I've noticed. Um, I bought this lot for 40 bucks, 37.50. Mohamed Salah won the title with Liverpool this year for the Premier League. Uh, net, this is a silver, uh, a hyper, a laser, and a mojo. Uh, the silver by itself sells for over $50. So I bought the entire lot. I don't know what each individual card sells for. Bought the entire lot for $37.50, right around $40. Bucks. This card now sells by itself for $50. So yeah, take that, you know, for what it is as far as value goes. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next player. And I'm going to talk about players and not just necessarily cards. But Marcus Rashford, I just mentioned him about Manchester United. I bought this entire lot, 2018 Prism. Now, mind you, this would be his rookie card right here, which is a 2016, I believe the year it is, Select. The same year as Christian Pulisic um, and a, a tricolor and a silver. However, the prisms were selling for just as much as the rookie cards, even though it's a 2018 World Cup uh, when I bought them. I bought this entire lot of six for 35 bucks. That's less than six bucks a card. They're now selling for over $20 a card. So again, as you can see, uh, triple up on my purchase. Already, guys, like I said, I started buying soccer cards just a little over two months ago, and you're seeing how quickly and how rapidly the market is growing. Um, again, I bought this select silver rookie card of him for 30 bucks, $29.99. I can't find a price on it because there's people just aren't selling them or there aren't many out there. Uh, I did see one going a lot the other day with another select from the same year, and you know, select has a different levels, uh, and that lot of two went for $245. However, the other one you see more regularly on eBay, and it sells for about 90 bucks. So I'm looking at this card being around anywhere between 130 to 150 and I picked it up for 30 bucks. It's already gone up that much, and I didn't even look up a price on this one. I think I might have paid 15 bucks for this one. Uh, so yeah, 
but just some Marcus Rashford, another player. It's going up, going up fast, guys. Soccer cards are going up fast. Um, how I, I will tell you, I will tell you, and I'm going to, I am going to show you that all these cards have gone up. Jao Felix, all right, another uh, rookie that's been pumped, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier um, about not all rookies are going to take off. You know, some aren't. You know, going to live up to expectation. Uh, people have labeled this guy the next CR7, so the next Christian Ronaldo. It's probably just because he's from uh, Portugal. However, that's not really fair to put that kind of label. It's hard to live up to those expectations. He is a great player. He is in the Champions League right now, so we'll see how he does. Uh, I believe his game, he, I believe he plays tomorrow. And um, But I bought this card for like 140 maybe 150 and it just hasn't moved. It hasn't gone down, hasn't gone up. Um, it the, actually recently the last sale was just slightly around a hundred bucks. So it is selling a little less. This card has taken a bit of a drop. He just needs to move into the premier league. Basically he's not, he's not getting much notice in La Liga right now. So if he moved into the premier league, his cards would go up. He was also injured. So that could have something to do with it. All right, next up. Jadon Sancho, and I know I'm saying next up a lot, but Jadon Sancho, I bought this card, uh, SGC 10 rookie, uh, about $130, $140. Again, guys, I'm having a hard time remembering every number. Uh, PSA 10s are selling, you know, in the three to $400 ballpark, I believe. This is not a PSA 10, and I know PSA 10 is really pulling away right now in resale value. The SGC... Maybe if I could get half of what the PSA 10 is worth. So maybe a $200 card. So just a slight increase. And he will be staying in, in Bundesliga, guys. He was not signed by Manchester United. So that could actually cause a little dip because the hype around him going to Manchester United, it's not because of his talent. They just couldn't come to agreement on a contract. Um, yeah, it could cause a little dip and actually could give you a window to get in on some Sancho cards. Uh, next up. I have, let's go, Kylian Mbappe, all right? Everybody has heard of this guy. He's been the young guy driving the market. 9.5 BGS, I bought less than a month ago, probably, maybe only a month ago, for 209 bucks. And it's now seeing uh, $700, guys. I bought this for 209 and it's now selling for 700 And that's in the BGS 9.5, 700 bucks. So very happy with the turnaround on this in such short time. Actually, when I bought it, I was like, man, 200 bucks for a BGS 9.5. I'm not sure. I'm glad I did it. Uh, I went with my gut and I bought it. Um, here we go. Christian Pulisic. You guys have seen this card. This is one of the favorite cards that I own. Uh, 9.5. This is not a rookie. Uh, this is a second year select die cut. Um, numbered out of 60. BGS 9.5. Probably not many of these on the market. I can't find a comp for this. And honestly, guys, graded soccer draws premiums more so than anything else, even in PSA 9s and 8s, because there's not much out there. And graded soccer is just a hot commodity, uh, hard to find. Most of it's raw. I have a huge submission that I'm sending in, and hopefully I can you know get a piece of that graded soccer card market uh, in sales. This card, I can't find any comps on it, but if you pull up just the base select from that season, from this year, it's a $30 card, raw. So second year, Polisic, raw, 30 bucks, select. I bought this for $49.99. Uh, you know, I'm guessing this could be $150, $200, maybe even more, depending on, you know, if it went to auction and the right people looked at it. I'm just saying, you know, put a value on that, guys. What do you think something like this would be worth? Considering the base select raw is 30 bucks, 9.5 die cut numbered out of uh, 60. Uh, more of a collector's card. Investors are going to buy the uh, base stuff and resell it, where the collectors are going to buy stuff that they want a PC, like a cool looking card like that. Next up, guys, I'm going to do this as an entire lot. However, I bought this for one card and one card only, and that was the meat and potatoes of this lot. Uh, this was one of my very first soccer purchases way back early June. I got an SGC 10 Mohamed Salah, an SGC 9.5 of Neymar Jr., and an SGC 10 of 
uh, Lionel Messi. All these are the 2014 Prism World Cup, 2018 Prism World Cup. Mohamed Salah didn't have a 2014. Uh, the main card I was buying this for was for the Messi, and at the time the Messi Raws were selling for 40 bucks. 40 bucks. I'm still waiting for a Com C order that I bought in June that I paid for in June that has two of these in it and two Neymars in it. Uh, I bought the Lionel Messi's, two of them for 40 bucks each off Com C Raw, and two Neymars for nine dollars each off Com C Raw. Um, they did say there would be a delay in shipping, and I probably wouldn't get it till September. But I went ahead and bought it anyway, just because I thought it was a good value, even though I was going to have to wait forever. And now that I'm waiting, the Raws of the Neymar have gone up to a hundred bucks, and the Raws of the Messi have gone up to nearly three hundred dollars raw. And I bought them for forty and nine. Not to mention the lot here that I bought for $300. And when I bought this lot for $300, I was so nervous. I was like, I can't believe I'm spending $300 on soccer cards because I had just gotten into the market. This might have been my second purchase. And um, like I said, I was buying it for the messy. So we'll get to that. The, the Salah, I can't get a market on it. There's not really graded of those out there. But he is a great player. Um, if I was to list this, it would probably get driven up in auction just because it doesn't really have any competition. Uh, I'm really not going to put a price on this. It doesn't really matter. It was just almost a throw-in card, in my opinion. Um, Neymar Jr. PSA 10s. Uh, I mean, PSA 9s. I'm sorry. Neymar Jr. PSA 9s, guys, are seeing 600 bucks. That's just crazy. A PSA 9 Neymar Jr. Prism is seeing 600 bucks. So there, I, I can't find any listings for an SGC 9.5. There's really no SGC listings at all. But if I could get at least what a PSA 9 is going for in an SGC 9.5, then this is quite possibly a $600 card. Even if I low-ended myself, I could say that this was a $400, $450 card. And it came in a lot that I bought for $300 bucks back in early June. And we're in early August. So about two months. It's just crazy. And we haven't even had World Cup. The Champions League just started for, for you know... Just crazy. And the Messies guys, PSA 10s, are seeing $3,500. It, it, it's mind-blowing to me. <laughs> $3,500 for a PSA 10. Um, I haven't seen any SGC 10s go on right now, and I know PSA is king. So even if I was to lowball myself on this card and give it half the value of the PSA, or even say it was a $1,500 card, you know, I think it's I could probably get $2,000 for it. But even if I said fifteen hundred, because the PSAs are selling for thirty five hundred, I mean, you look fifteen hundred. I could, I think I could get for this. You know, I think I could get, get four hundred for that. Let's just say the lot altogether. If I was to sell them individually, I could probably get two thousand uh, for the three, and I paid three hundred bucks for it two months ago, guys. And that's a super low ball figure on myself. I'm actually. I'm actually sending this to PSA to try to get it crossed. Now, I know the ego will probably kick in, and they'll probably be, there's no way I'm crossing an SGC 10. Uh, and I don't expect them to, but I'm going to take the chance on it just because of the value of this card. It's $3,500. Unbelievable. And, and I got it in a $300 lot uh, if I can get this crossed to a PSA 10. And, guys, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, wait. I was opening a box in the intro, and it was the most money that I've pumped out for a soccer card, guys. And if you notice, or if cons conspicuous by his absence, what player have I not showed you a single card of? I've showed you Messi, I've showed you Neymar, Pulisic, Salah, a bunch of young guys. I got I got Kane, De Bruyne, Sterling. No CR7s, guys. Cristiano Ronaldo. I really didn't get on his cards very early. Um, every time I wanted to buy a Prism Raw, they were just beat beat all up, beat the crap. Uh, the, it's hard to find one in good condition raw. And by the time that I wanted to get a nice one, the raws were over 200 bucks. And I was like, I, you know, or 150 bucks. I'm like, I don't want to pay 150 bucks and risk getting a crappy raw card. So I went on eBay and I bought myself this guys, uh, a BGS 9.5, a true gem. Just got four 9.5 subgrades. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, when I bought this, I had just lost an auction for a PSA 10. 
Um, I was laying in bed. I was waiting for the PSA 10 auction to go off. It got over a thousand bucks. I was still in. It got to twelve hundred bucks. I bid. It got to thirteen. I bid. It got to fourteen. I bid. And I was like, oh my God, I'm getting up there for Cristiano Ronaldo PSA 10. It ended up going off at slightly fifteen hundred, slightly over fifteen hundred bucks. I lost it. I was out at fourteen hundred. I was like, you know, fifteen hundred bucks for a PSA ten Ronaldo is just crazy. Hindsight being twenty twenty, guys, should have bought it. PSA ten Ronaldos have just exploded. The most recent sale of a PSA ten of this card was thirty seven hundred dollars. These are not rookie cards, guys. 3,500 in a PSA 10, 3,700 in a PSA 10. Um, they're first prisms. Uh, you know, they have older stickers. I mean, this is a 2014, and Messi and Bo and Ronaldo have both been playing since early 2000, like probably 2004, 2002. And um, yeah, they've been in the league at least 10 years prior to this card being made. But like I said, prism. And uh, this is going to be adopted as... I, these are going to be adopted as iconic cards, just like in the other sports with the LeBron and the basketball and things like that. I'm going to try to cross this. I paid 700 bucks for this, guys. The night that I lost that auction for 1500 I went on to eBay to see if there was any more, and I stumbled across this um, 9.5 gem mint, and I was like, this is going for half the price of the PSA 10 at a buy it now for 700 I actually tried to make a best offer of 600 and I didn't get a response. Um, the day went by. I never got a response, and I just got scared. I was like, you know what? I believe in the potential of the card, is what I told myself. And I went ahead and paid the extra 100 bucks, 700 bucks. I bought this. That's another thing you guys hear me say in my sales videos, my investment videos. If you believe in the potential of a card, just pay it, even if you feel like you're paying over. Even deep down, if you feel like you're paying over, if your belief in the potential is stronger, buy the card. And now this card, you know, I don't know what I would get for a BGS 9.5. There really hasn't been any sales go off of this card. But I'm going to guess if the PSA 10 is selling for 37, that I could get anywhere between 2000 and 2500 for this. And I'm also going to try to cross this. I'm going to send these cards together along with a couple other cards, a couple basketball cards. And, um, you know, with the hopes that maybe they'll deny me one of them and give me one of them. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe they'll deny me a cross on the Messi, but they'll give me the cross over on the Ronaldo or vice versa. So that's going to be my strategy. I'm going to send them both in to get them crossed. Um, yeah, guys, that's my soccer video. What do you think of my pickups? Um, I definitely feel like I've done pretty decent. As far as return on investment, if I was to sell, uh, even if I was to sell now, however, I want to cross these. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you like Messi better? Do you like Ronaldo? Um, that's very debatable. A lot of people argue that and they get heated. So that's the question I want to ask you guys as a, uh, for this, and I know I'm giving away a basketball card, but for this video, who do you guys think is better? Um, who do you guys think is a better player, and who do you think is a better investment? Uh, Messi or Ronaldo? And you could have a different answer for each one, because Ronaldo is very popular in social media and things like that, where Messi's kind of quiet. However, Messi is probably the more talented player, and you know, and statistically has more accolades. However, championships and stuff, Ronaldo has more. So, you know, there's pros and cons, or there, it's debatable between it, between it, guys. Tell me who you like better. I don't know if you're into soccer, but if you're not, go watch yourself a highlight video on Ronaldo. Go watch yourself a highlight video on Messi and tell me who you like better. That's going to be the question to qualify you to win the LeBron James uh, Optic, which I'll be giving away next video. And I'll be giving this away in just a couple minutes. And once again, guys, thanks for joining me for my soccer video. Good luck in your investing. And until next time, I'll see you later. What's up guys, welcome back. And it's time to do the giveaway for the LeBron Select. Um, all you have to do is answer the question in the last video about the Anthony Davis Prism card. And if you answered, you're entered to win. Let's go ahead and get this over with, uh, not waste any more time. Good luck to everybody. Remember, in my giveaways you have seven days to respond. Just comment on this video below. Uh, let me know that you're aware that you won and we'll get together on Instagram and 
uh, exchange contacts and I'll have the, the card shipped right out to you. So again, yeah, good luck to everybody. 56 comments. Let's go ahead and get it done. Who's going to be our winner today? It's going to be... Cranfee Sports. I would sell the AD if you get 1.5 times profit. Not a bad idea. That's kind of what I intended to do. Um, not really sure yet. I haven't quite made up my mind. But again, thanks for the advice. Um, I, I'd like to take advice as well as give advice. So yeah, guys. Uh, Cranfee Sports, congratulations. You won the LeBron Select. Uh, just contact me on Instagram. Um, I'll try to leave links below if I remember. And guys, remember, there's still a couple giveaways uh, coming up. So make sure you're liking, subscribing. Turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss them. We have the, the Prism LeBron and the checkerboard Anthony Davis coming up. The two, big, the two big cards. So thanks a lot, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.